My brother Peter, I'm home, and my sister Mary. We all decided to start learning how to do day trading last December. I allocated about six months to do this. It turned out three of us in four weeks. We already start making some headway and start making money. And now it has been over six months, and we all feel very comfortable in doing day trading. For me, for the last eight weeks, I've been making over 10k per week. In this video, we are going to talk about how we ran up in such a short time, and it turned out that isn't that difficult. There are many good videos on day trading for beginners. They generally give you very good guidance. However, you have to modify what they suggest to fit your situation. In this video, I'm going to explain step by step what I would do if I had to start day trading. I also look into the trading platforms from Fidelity and TD Ameritrade. I like TD Ameritrade's Think or Swim platform. It seemed to be more trader friendly. You can sign up for an account and start using that trading platform without funding the account. It takes time to learn how to use the trading platform. Therefore, selecting a good trading platform in day one is very important. Initially, I learned the very basic things to help with my trading, such as charting and also buy and sell stocks. I'm still learning new features after I've been using it for the past six months. I skipped the step of practice day trading using paper money. Instead, I jumped into the actual trading with a few thousand dollars. This makes the learning more interesting, and also quickly build up my confidence. These are the steps I follow to start my day trading activities. I have to understand the rules and regulations as a day trader. For TD Ameritrade, I have unlimited trades on my cash and IRA accounts. There are restrictions with margin accounts. For now, as a beginner, I don't plan to short stocks, and I prefer not to extend myself. Therefore, I have not applied for a margin account. I have to be aware of the penalties also if there's a violation, which I already have two strikes in the past six months. The penalty and restrictions shouldn't have much impact to my trading activities. My job one in day trading is not to lose a penny. Therefore, I will avoid the risk in trading penny stocks. Large and mid caps have large trading volumes and are more predictable. There are many trading strategies. For the first few months, I mainly used the buy the deep strategy. I observed many stocks will move lower right after market open and then we bound it within the next 30 minutes. The indicators will guide you when to enter and exit the trade. Very often, the stock will drop between 10 to 10.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It will very likely continue to drop all the way to noon or even to 2 p.m. and then it will gradually rebounded back up around 3 p.m. just before the market close. Let's take a look at Google and also Meta, Facebook. And on this day, the patterns are so similar. Many part-time day traders make enough money at the first hour and then return to their regular day job. I always keep monitoring the latest political and business news related to the stocks I'm trading. Yesterday, AMD held the AI conference and it didn't meet the expectations of the investors. The stock is weak today. Therefore, the buy at the deep strategy may not play out today with AMD. So the news will help you to make the right decision as to whether to trade a particular stock or not. 
with buying the dip strategy. I rely on the indicators to get into a position. There are times the stock keeps on falling. Therefore, I usually buy a few shares in the beginning. If the stock dropped further, I would buy more shares to average out the cost. Very often, the stock will drop and then trade sideways, and I can still make a small profit. To minimize the risk, I usually trade the stocks of those companies that I know. I subscribe to CNBC Mr. Kramer's investing club, and they have done a lot of research on the companies I'm also interested in. We officially launched the CNBC Investing Club. The investing portfolio is for buy and hold long-term growth. It is also a good watch list for day trading or doing swing trades. It is a diversified portfolio that can minimize the risk. This website has easy-to-use tools to replay my trades. For the first three months, I reviewed and analyzed the daily good and bad trades I made in the evening hours. The review process helps me to become a much better trader. To me, the biggest hurdle to be successful in day trading is to overcome my emotions. The fear of missing out, FOMO, is a huge personal challenge to overcome. From this chance, I know when to enter or exit a trade. However, my personal greed will drive irrational executions. Sometimes I'm correct, sometimes I'm wrong. When I first started day trading, I used only a few thousand dollars. In my very first trade, I made $28. That is about 1% gain, and it is a very good percentage gain. I controlled my spending, and I save as much as I can and use it to invest. Money makes money. As for my sister, even though today she only spends $15,000 per day, and her goal is trying to make $100 per day, and she is really happy with what she is doing. I use the spreadsheet to track my progress. In my next video, I will show you how I gradually minimize the number of losses. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and support my channel. Better if you subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. I have many other videos on my channel. Hope you will find them interesting too. Thanks and see you again. Bye bye.